Hello and welcome to L8 Tips. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going to go through creating L8 video screens and material edits. Most of the features that we see here can be done in all the versions, but anything to do with media playback is in media and above as of the recording of this video. So let's jump in. So here we've got a nice little stage set up. It's the same one we've been using in all the other tutorial videos. And what we want to do is we want to take the uh, the assets that we've got at the back of this screen and we want to add some content to them. So I've currently got some pod screen selected, which is just a little two by four little screen. And if we go into material and turn model off, we can pick from some textures. So we can pick from a test pattern and we can see that it brings it up. And what we can do is we want to create one big LED screen here. And the original way that we had to do this was we had to adjust the tiling, then we had to do all the offsets for each screen. Thankfully, with L8, we don't need to do that anymore. So if we select all the objects that we want to create this screen out of, so I'll select my big cylinder screen in the middle here, and I'll select all of my little screens here, let's do it in other options. Let's grab all the pod screens first, then this center screen, and then we'll grab this back screen. So I'm just holding the control key on my keyboard and we're selecting all the screens that we want to use. And we can see that the ones that are selected have got little red squares around them. And it doesn't matter the selection order that we do, we just need to make sure we select them all. Next, we're going to clear the texture to make sure that they all come with it. Now we're going to set them all to the same texture, which is a 1080 thing, and we're going to make sure that we clear any tiling or any offsets that may be there. Here we can also set the emissiveness, so whether it'll output light. For the stuff that I like to do, I like to set this at around 25. Now, before we jump into the next thing, we need to make sure that we've got a good flat front camera. So we'll take a camera from the back and we'll use the keyboard and mouse to zoom in. And then we'll go back into our material option and we're going to click the, the button that says record view. And what we do when we've got record view and we can actually even close this is we get a preview of the source image. So I've got a 1920 1080 test pattern loaded in and what I want to do is I want to center it up so that it fills all of our back screen evenly and obviously it's not a perfect science but it's enough to get most of your mapping done and we just want to tweak sort of the midpoint there perfect now if we go back into material and we turn off record view now we can swap it out for a video file so if I go to Explorer and I navigate I've already put a folder in called example you can create your own file and if you find that the video files that you want aren't playing back what you need to do is you need to install the Klight codec pack which is going to give you a bunch of media playback options available in L8 and there'll be a link to that in the description of the video so we click on open and we get a nice little preview of it here and with this if we right click we can also set it to loop we can have it only play once and now if we minimize that and we click save, we're going to get our LED screen. And we can't tell from here, but it's also mapped across our little screens. So if I jump back into room for a second and I click on one of my screens, I'm just going to scroll through all my objects to my pod screens, which is what I've named them. If I drag them forward, we can see that we've mapped it to all the pod screens as well as the screen behind it. And it's all mapped as if it's one big LED screen. On top of that, other than just doing textures, we can also grab windows, such as a window app opening in another application. Or if we jump into texture and go into movie, we can also bring in capture cards. So if we've got a capture card plugged in, we could select video one, or we can even bring NDI in, and we can do with this version up to nine of them. With NDI, we open up the window, we click source, 
and we wait until we get the source that we want. So here's screen three, which is a HDMI, which may actually be ourselves. Yes, look, it's ourselves. We've created a window on our of our own. So let's grab screen two now and just wait for it to resync. Obviously, NDI is a network platform, so it sometimes takes a little while. Or it might be at a res that we can't take. There we go. We've got an MA lighting console. So now if we step back by minimizing, we can see that we've actually got that output mapped to our screens already. And that's as simple as it is. That's texture mapping in L8. Of course, we can do it on different objects. So if you're running other versions, we can... Uh, Grab other objects, such as this little square stage that we've got here. We can give them brightness. We can make it a mirror if we so desire. So here we go. We've turned it into a mirrored surface. So if you're using L8CE2 or Trace and above, we can do mirrors. We can also diffuse it in different colors. So we could diffuse it and like this, or we can make it glass. But this is where we can do all of those. Another fun thing you might have seen is we've, I've got this big box sitting across the entire stage. This is using a 3D texture. So with Trace and Unlimited, as well as CE2, we can do what's called 3D textures. So we can do really cool effects that rather than just being a flat video file are actually a 3D texture. We can also tile this as we want or layer two textures on top. So we could also bring in our video file if we wanted here. So let's find our video file again. And we can lay that in on top. Of course, we can't really see it very well, but it is playing back. Anyway, hopefully that uh, tutorial has been very helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, all the information required is in the description section of this video. Thanks.